Hi, I'm Willa. And I'm Lila, and welcome to The Transcript. We're excited to announce that starting this week, we will be working on bringing you better closed captioning for our broadcasts. We encourage you to turn on closed captioning now, as new producer Kiara Howard will use this feature. This week, The Transcript explores deaf culture, chats with false sports captains, and chows down on Mexican food with cheap thrills. Make sure to stay tuned till the end of the episode for information on the youth climate strike. On Monday, over 900 Amazon employees under the banner of AECJ announced their intent to go on strike in protest of the company's inaction on climate change. The employees listed their demands in a petition delivered on Monday, all of which forced Amazon to achieve zero carbon emissions by 2030. On Saturday, President Trump said that he canceled secret meetings with the Taliban as well as a separate meeting with Ashraf Ghani, which were supposed to be held on Sunday. The president called off the talks after the Taliban claimed responsibility for a recent attack that left a U.S. soldier dead. In response, the Taliban has said the decision will lead to more losses for the United States. On Tuesday, Benjamin Netanyahu announced his intent to reclaim the West Bank for Israel, if he is elected next week. This announcement comes as a repetition of the same claims made during the last election cycle, though Netanyahu claims he will be calling on the United States for support. Britain's parliament has, for the second time, rejected Boris Johnson's call for early elections, dealing yet another blow to the prime minister. The vote went through early Tuesday morning and successfully blocked Boris Johnson from organizing a new vote before parliament's month-long suspension. So when you communicate with hearing people and deaf people, how do you prefer to communicate with them? Well, for deaf people, I sign, but for hearing, I just talk if they prefer it. And if they prefer both, I do both. I have my Clark friends who are both all deaf, and they know how to sign as well. The one thing I want people to know about deaf culture is you don't have to know that much sign language to communicate. You just say your name and figure it out and you could always write it down. There's strategies to communicate and being deaf doesn't always mean you can't do stuff.
Hi, I'm Nico. And I'm Katie. And welcome, welcome to, to Cheap, Cheap Thrills. Thrills. Today, we're headed out down to El Camolicho on Northampton Road in East Hampton to check out the new hottest Mexi Mexican joint in town. Here at El Camolito in East Hampton. If you're looking to get some superb Mexican food and really stretch your dollar, look no further. Let's head in to see if the hype is worth hi, hype is what it's all about. It's a big menu. No, look normal. We got it. This is normal. With such an expansive menu and lots of flavors, we're really gonna try and get the most bang for our buck here and really try and test all the flavors we possibly can. With an authentic mix of Mexican and El Salvadorian food, they really have a lot, of, lot to offer for all different types of tastes. Wait, can we get something off the kids' menu? Absolutely. I'm a kid. The burrito I had was filled with Spanish rice, black beans, pico de gallo, sour cream, and cheese. It was very flavorful and authentic. I had ordered the pulled pork tacos. The undertones of lime work to balance the savory flavor of the meat, while the cilantro and onion accentuated the smoky natural pork flavor. The fresh ingredients and enticing red meat were tucked within a mild and simple corn tortilla, providing an authentic and unique experience for any palate. Um, my name is Fernando Perez. Um, my age, I'm 22 years old. How has the opening of this uh, new location been? Um, very exciting, uh, very thrilling. Uh, there's been a lot of up, ups and downs, but the, you know that's a fr uh, the first year for a restaurant. Uh, we've been open in Amherst about seven years. Um, it's been five months on this side, so we're getting used to how things work over here. It's good. You know, we like the community. I like working here just because um, I help out my family and I get to talk to a lot of people and help out the community. And then I work with other uh, young. I like it. Yeah. It's good. Y'all ready for this? With the fall sports season now upon us, it is important to acknowledge changes that may have occurred in the off season. As new athletes join teams, seniors graduate, and new coaches are hired, it is common for team dynamics in high school sports teams to shift. We decided to sit down with the captains of the fall sports teams to ask them how they think their season is going to go via haiku. <laughs> This is the undefeated season. Meadow won 10 0. The ball hit my foot again. Coach is not happy. The title of a high haiku is Crust Country. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try not to puke. Load up at pasta parties. Western Mass Champs, please. This haiku is called the final season. Crushing opponents, calm, skilled, and camaraderie. Winning the state champs. Could be good or bad. Depends on if Toby can carry the whole team. The title of our haiku is No Pain, No Gain. My body is strained. 2K Tuesdays in the rain. No pain, no gain. Crew. Crew. Our haiku is called Golf Team. New Jean au Golf. I do not speak any French. Let's, Let's beat Chicopee. 2019 Hamp Football. Playoff bound. Don't sleep. Come watch us win tonight. Concussions aren't real. Don't put your season. Yep. Don't put your season. That's Go it. Your season. Nice. Monday, the boys' soccer team got their first win of the season, beating Belchertown 2-1. Meanwhile, the girls' team tied against Agawam 1-1 on Wednesday. On Tuesday, both girls' and boys' cross-country teams won their meet against Sabas and South Hadley. This week, the girls' field hockey team has lost all of their games, but there is still hope yet. The golf team won their match against Chicopee on Wednesday. The football team has their first home game tonight at 7. Come support and cheer on our team. Hi, I'm Stefan. I'm Mary. And I'm Allie. Have you ever wondered what your teachers are like outside the classroom? Tune in every Friday for our new segment, Smarts and Crafts. Where we get to know your favorite teachers and staff in the high school through in-depth questions and fun arts and crafts projects. 
Next Friday, September 20th, students from all over the world will be striking from school to protest climate inaction. The Massachusetts strike is taking place in Boston. If you're interested in going, go to bit.ly slash WMass RSVP to reserve a seat on the bus. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check, check out www.devilsadvocate.news for full versions of segments. Mm -hmm.